A new bill that would help fund anti-abortion groups through license plate sales is stirring up controversy tonight. Republican lawmakers want the state to offer specialty plates that read Choose Life with an image of a baby's footprint. NBC 26's Brian Miller is live in the Green Bay Newsroom with more in our big story at 5. If this bill is approved, Wisconsin would become one of 29 states to offer the Choose Life license plate. Now in Florida, the program has raised more than $7 million in its 13-year existence. But in North Carolina, a judge ruled the practice unconstitutional. Wisconsin could soon offer drivers a new license plate option. The message is creating another debate about abortion. I think abortion is wrong, but... Sometimes there are reasons where there's health reasons where it needs to get done. This Green Bay couple says the plates are a bad idea. That's wrong. I mean, you know, you're forcing somebody's decision by advertising it. That's not right. Everybody know that I'm a bull hunter. I'm also Catholic. Gordy Human says he'd gladly buy the pro-life plate. Everybody's got their names on license plates, so if you're a Catholic and you're pro-life, why not put pro-life on your license plate? Republican State Representative Andre Jacques proposed the bill, saying the plates have raised millions of dollars for pro-life groups in other states. It really helps these volunteer-driven nonprofit organizations to be able to continue their mission of providing uh, free medical care for those who find themselves in very difficult situations and help them to choose a, a life-giving option. The director of Pro-Choice Wisconsin has an issue with giving $25 from each plate to crisis pregnancy centers. They actually are providing women with medically inaccurate and disproven information. We have concerns about the state being involved in raising money for these groups that are essentially lying to women. The state legislature will decide if the plates will be offered in Wisconsin. And Representative Jacques tells me the bill is currently being reviewed by the Transportation Committee and he expects it to receive a hearing fairly soon. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Brian Miller, NBC 26. Thanks.